We present GEMSE, a tool for the exploration of an ensemble of segmentation masks resulting from sampling a multi-channel segmentation algorithm's parameter space. It enables non-segmentation experts to quickly arrive at suitable parameters for a reasonable segmentation of their multi-channel images and can determine the stability of these parameters. This is the main interface of GEMSE. Loaded is an ensemble of 200 segmentation results from a rock crystal dataset. The interface consists of seven interlinked views. The cluster tree view displays an overview of the ensemble through a hierarchical clustering based on image similarity. For each node a slice of a cluster representative is shown. A red pixel indicates that not all images in the cluster were labeled with the same label at that pixel location. Any other color in the image presents a particular label that was consistently applied for all images in that cluster. The cluster example view displays a number of characteristic image examples from the currently selected cluster. They are chosen so as to best represent the variety of segmentation results in this cluster. In the detail view a large version of the currently selected cluster representative or example image is shown. To the right of the image is a legend of the labels as specified by the user. Below, the parameters resulting in this specific segmentation result are listed. In the slice view, users can see three axis parallel slices of the original image. The scroll bar on the left modifies the number of the currently shown slice. Changes in this view, the slice picked or the slicing direction picked, will be used in all other icons in the interface. The histogram view on the bottom shows the distribution of input parameters and output characteristics. The distribution of the whole ensemble is shown as grey graph, the current cluster is overlaid in red. By selecting two charts in the histogram view, their values can be plotted against each other in the scatterplot view. Ensemble members identified as suitable segmentation results can be memorized in the favorite bar. We now come to the first part of a case study on a rock crystal dataset where we find suitable segmentation results and the parameters that produce them. The material analyzed here is a quartz structure with several cracks and pores inside. The main goal was to find parameters that segment all those cracks and pores well. A secondary goal was to find segmentation parameters that are robust in the presence of imaging artifacts. The root cluster shows variations of segmentation labels for nearly every pixel of the image, as a red label indicates that at least one segmentation result differs from all the others for that pixel. This cluster looks promising, where most of the air is correctly labeled, as well as a big portion of the crystal. We will therefore investigate this cluster more closely. Its first child node shows solid round structures labeled as cracks. A material scientist, the intended end user in this case study, will quickly notice that these are not actual crack structures. These are unwanted ring artifacts stemming from the imaging process. The histogram for the number of considered SVM channels for this cluster reveals that all masks in it were produced using only one data channel. This hints that there might be a relationship between these artifacts and the SVM channel number parameter. The sibling cluster does not show these artifacts, or at least much less pronounced. The respective SVM channel histogram indicates that this cluster also includes segmentations with just one channel, but also several others with two channels. We filter for the higher SVM channel number in the histogram to further investigate this possible correlation. The cluster tree view shows the filtered cluster representatives. They are calculated only from matching label images. Now the artifacts are not visible anymore. We therefore conclude that a value of 2 needs to be used for the SVM channel parameter to avoid this artifact. We now look at a different feature. We see that this cluster contains masks which all over segment the crystal label and in addition show a large circular structure which should be labeled as air. The corresponding histogram for parameter SVM gamma shows only high values for this parameter in this cluster. The underlying gray plot shows the distribution in the whole ensemble. We see that the majority of masks with high SVM gamma are contained in this cluster.
In the sibling cluster there is much less oversegmentation, but the circular structure is still visible. The histogram shows values in the middle of the SVM gamma range. The example images in this cluster do not show the large circular structure. These were produced using low SVM gamma values. Concluding this exploration, we have learned that for suitable results the SVM gamma value must be selected from the lower end of the range. In the second part of our case study, we will now find robust parameter regions for segmenting the rock crystal dataset. We now want to further refine the parameter ranges for suitable results and determine stable ranges. GIMSE allows rating clusters using the interaction elements below the detail image. Rated clusters are added to the favorite bar. Through exploration in the cluster tree view, we continue to mark suitable and unsuitable images. Ranges containing rated parameters are marked on the axis of all histograms. We end up with color-coded parameter ranges in the histograms. Green ranges indicate parameters leading to suitable results and red ranges unsuitable parameters. The larger the range, the better the stability, as slight changes in the parameter will not lead to unsuitable results. The parameters out of these ranges can then be used for future segmentation runs.